Shepherd of us all, Savior of us all, Lover of us all. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We Thank you for the gift of this divine new day. We are grateful. We say thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. And so, Father in heaven, we have come before you again to eat from you. We therefore pray that, Father, that you by yourself take over the message, the pulpit, as I decrease, that you increase, I step out, that you step in, I step down, that you step up and take over, speak to me, to your children this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so, God, I ask if the garment I am putting on is the one that I will use to preach and then end up where you do not die for me to go. Father, have mercy on me and I pull away that garment that is not fit on me right now. Forgive me all my mistake, all my, all my error. And wash me right away in your blood and make me whole before you, O oh God, because your eyes is too holy to behold iniquity in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I also pray for your children gathered here before you. Is there anyone putting on fitted garment and you are very angry because you are always angry with sin? Have mercy on her, have mercy on him, and wash him or her in your blood. And give them the rightful garment to put on that you always want to see in the life of your children. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, I command every satanic power, every manipulation. And every spirit that always in, misinterprets your word in the heart of your children, I hold and bind in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Give all the heart that produces fruit after hearing your word. We don't want to be only the hearer, but the doer at the end. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 5, I read verse 10. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. Amen. Amen. In verse 10 of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, it says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done to his body according to that he had done, whether it be good 
of blood. Amen. Amen. So by the special grace of God, this place is familiar to many of us. And the Lord is saying to me this morning and to you that you want to recall, want to withdraw, you want to bring back our attention about what must be, whether we like it or not. So that is why the topic before me and you this morning says, how often do you think about your end? How often do you and I think about your end? How often do we think about our ends? How often do I sit down and think about my end? Praise the Lord. It's a thing that I need to really sit down and think about because it's a mandating thing that you and I came one day. Therefore, you and I, we go one day. I believe many of us that are in the Western world, before we left our country, we have so many thoughts in mind. Maybe you were told by your mother, by your parents, don't go. And you said, Mama, Daddy, don't worry, let me go. If I get there, this I will do. I will, you, you see this as I will break it and I will build you another. And on your own, you sat down and said, Hey, if I go to that place I am going, this I will do, that I will do, under six months, under five months, under this I will do, that I will do this. Anytime you remember, hey, my visa is ready now. Hey, if I get to that place, this I will do. Even at times you are eating, you remember, when you think about it, think about where you are going, you begin to calculate. And the Lord is telling me now, is asking me and you a question, how often do we think about our end? How often you go to your window and you, you put your hand on your window or on your door like somebody that is expecting a visitor? How often do you sit down just at times you sit in your, your living room or wherever. Hey, my wife, by this time, my wife, uh, my wife, my husband has finished work. So I think I have to go now and pick her and pick him. Hey, he may be on her way now. By now, she, she might have took train. That is taught. But how often do I sit down? and ask myself a question. It is true that I came one day. It is true also that I will go one day, but what will be my end? What will be my end if it happened? Where is going to be my end? Listen, at times the Lord used our thought to help us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You 
And I must one day sit down before the Almighty God. Let me or stand before the Almighty God to give account of what you did on earth. Have you ever imagined and said, hey, tomorrow I am having a court case? And they said tomorrow is the final judge, is the final day, is the day they are going to judge the case. Hey, I don't know what the judge will say now. I don't know whether I will return back to this place again now, whether they will, the, the judge will say, okay, Lock him, lock her for five months, for two months. Hey, how, how is it going to be? If you are a Christian, when you remember such a thing, I mean about physical journal, what do you do? You go to your knee. Why? Because you are imagining. I hope if they judge this case tomorrow, my little child um, is not going to be without mother for so he must now. And that we do what? Why the thought the Lord is steadily asking us off to now? Because at the time, if you are a good thinker, if you are a person who sits down to think about issue like this, it prompts you to purging. It prompts you to, to, to prayer. It prompts you to, 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 to amend your way. Hey, the way it prompts you to search yourself. It prompts you to examine yourself. When you are a good thinker, who think about your end, it makes you to be a prayer warrior for yourself. It makes you to be a good examiner of your own self. It makes you to, to check yourself in a mirror of the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So, how often do you and I think about our end? If the rapture takes place today, I do am I sure I am going? And you know the only thing that will not allow you to go is sin. When after you, you because the reason why it's good for me and you to think about our end, as I said before, it prompts you to, to purge yourself. You it makes you to remember the only thing that will not allow me and you to fly when to be sad is sin. It makes you to now start looking at yourself. What next do you need to put in order? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you and I must definitely, no matter what, no matter how holy, how dirty, how sinful you are, how poor you are, how rich you are, you must go one day. It is certain. But how often? Do I think about my end? How often do you sit down to think about yourself? Hey, this money that I just received today, and I will use this not to buy Gary, I will use this not to buy this thing. I think this one will be good for, but how often are you and I sat down alone and begin to ask yourself, I will die one day. Rapture will take place one day. One of these two things will happen. But what shall become of me? What shall become? What shall be the next thing? Where will I be among the two things? Among the two places? Praise the name of the Lord. Um, in the book of First Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians 15. The Lord told us in verse 51 to 52. He said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. 52. In a moment. Sister, think about this. 
Brother, think about this. Brother Samson, think about this. He didn't say in, in an hour, in a, uh, a minute. He said in a moment, in the twinkling of what of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall what sound, whether I and you like it or not, and the day shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be what change. Sister, he said in a moment, with just as you blink your eye and open it, is that is what he's saying. He didn't say when you blink your eye for 20 times, no, just before you as you bring it to open it, that is what he said. When you shall bring it now and open it, what shall be the, the at, at come? The trumpet, the dead is one. When before when the trumpet sound now, have you think about it? Wow, wow, we like it. We, that sister who know me to be a born again, with that brother who know me to be a born again, come to my house and meet. It is only this cloth that I am just as I'm putting on now. It's only this cloth in now meet, or he's going to meet me again with the cloth together. Have I think about this? When the trumpet shall sound in the decree of an eye, brother, sister. What will be the next? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Bible told me and you in the book of Hebrew. Listen, this we don't want to think about talk about what the trumpet now. Talk about the, the, the rapture. But what about if it is this side? Maybe listen, it's not only people that they see that die. What I mean is there are people you will hear. Uh, uh, we, we talked together yesterday. I called her yesterday. I called him yesterday. He's, no, he's, he's, he's heady. He's it, it, not sick. The Bible told us in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. He said, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. And as it is appointed, Unto men wants to die. But afterward, this will follow the judgment. If you breathe your last breath now, sister, have you think of where will be the next place to head to? Why God is talking to me now through this message? He wants me to have a time thinking about the eternity. Not even at times. He wants me to often think about my end. Because in my thinking about my end, as I said, he will prompt me to push myself. He will prompt me to make right my way. It is just once it's appointed unto man. That is why Job said, Naked I came, naked I what I will go. You must go, sister. The trumpet must sound, brother. But have you think about it? What will be the next? With that sister who know you every six a.m., you always pray, connect to Martin. When he come and say, let me, I know rapture, this rapture of the thing that you are talking about. I know that it has taken place. Let me go and open the door to see, uh, sister, brother, uh, uh, are, you, are, you, are you at home? And we, he or she meet that you are your clothes and the phone you are using to connect is still there. Have you think about this? I pray this will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. How often do you and I think about our end? Listen to this. When you are a good thinker, 
be a good forgiver. <clears throat> if I do not forgive him now, do not forgive my wife, my husband now, what of if it don't happen now? What will happen to me? What will be the next? <clears throat> my, my husband, I forgive you. My wife, I forgive you. The reason is because you have taught us something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, How often do you and I think about our end? God is asking me question. It's not my message. Or as he's talking to you, he's talking to me. Before I came here, I have prayed with the message on my own. For you to know, he talked to me before he come here to talk to you. Praise the Lord. Ha. Hallelujah. Mm. He disappointed. Once to die, after that, judgment must follow. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Eternity must go. Eternity must go. Eternity must go. Eternity must go. No matter the age you spend in this world, eternity must go. No matter the year you spend in this air, eternity must go. Eternity must go. Just one time. Eternity must come. Whether we like it or not. No matter the no, years no, 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 you spend in this world, eternity must come. No matter the age you spend in this world, eternity must come. Eternity must come. Eternity must come. No matter the world you spend in this world, eternity must go. No matter the age you spend in this world, eternity must go. Eternity must go. Eternity must go. Rapture must take place, whether you like it or not. Death must go. Whether we like it or not, no matter the years we spend in this world, eternity must come. No matter the years we spend in this world, eternity must come. No matter how old you are, the 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 man that has the highest age is no longer in this world. His two parents is no more. One day he must also be like come like them in eternity. But what shall be the next? No matter the eight and you and I spend on earth, eternity must come. But do you think about it? Or you are still working the way you are working. Or you are still living your life the way you have you were living it before. The choice is mean. The choice is yours to think about our eternity, to think about the end of this journey. Have you sit down and said this? This singing, this my choir of a thing, this my Bible reading of a thing, this my preaching of a thing, this my evangelism of a thing, where will it be the end? It's a question that I need to ask myself and know what to do next. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew 24, Matthew 24, verse 36 to 37, Matthew 24, I read 
verse 36 to 37. He said, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. We hear that? He's telling us we don't know the day. Even the angel, your guardian angel, your minister angel, don't, they don't even know the day. He even go to the estate and say, even myself don't know, except the father. Sister, that day you don't know. The occasion you are going that you don't know how it, it will be. You prepare for it. You prepare very well so that when you get there, you will not well be disgraced. You will not be ashamed. Yes, he said that day is like the day of Noah. Sister, brother, are, are you and I sat down and think about the day that is like that of Noah? Or we, we are relying that, or we are relying on the Bible we can read very well. Or we are relying on the preaching that we can preach very well. Or we are relying on the evangelism we have done all over the world. Or we are relying on the fasting we know how to fast very well. Brother, sister, have everything. Sit down. Sister, sit down. Sit down. That is why the elder said, where I sit down, see, if you little guys, even though you climb the highest mountain, you will not see it. What does that mean? Even though you are working on this, your work you thought you are doing in the house of God. Sister, sit down. Because if you sit down, you will see where. If you hold break and sit down, you will, you will see clearly. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible told me are you in the book of uh, Mark chapter 13. Mark 13, I read verse 34 to 37. Mark 13, I read the fourth 37. He said, For the Son of Man is as for the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to the to his servant and to every man in his work. Get that. And commanded the porter to what? To wash. Sister, is get this, oh, brother, get this. Is it? And to every man is work. And as he gave me, I use the work we think we are doing now. He also gave us a, a secret. He told us at the end that he said what? He said, and commanded the porter. To wash. Who is the butter? He's talking to you now and I. In verse 35, he said, Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh at eve or at midnight or at the uh, the crowing uh, at the cock crowing or in the morning, least coming suddenly. Be find you what sleeping, and what I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch what he said to me, he's saying to you at the same time, watch what he said to you, he's telling me at the same time, watch. Sister, God have committed work into your hand, he did not say you, me, and you should live as a fool. He wants us as we are working, doing that work, he wants us to have a routine, he wants us to sit down. What profit have I made in this work, or what profit? Will I make it the master come now? Wash. 
He gave us the secret of how to be able to not allow the master to meet us so daily, to meet us on the day that we do not expect. That is why he say, some say, wash in this your work you are doing. You sit down and watch very well. In that work you are doing, sit down, watch many have a think. Think about your aim. Listen to this. If it is everybody that does the work of God enter heaven, those that are crying here now, they will not be there. And their work are more than a test. Tell of what you have done. But yet, they end up where they are not crying. Why? Because they just drive that all. They don't have time to sit down, to think and know how to do. They just carry on and continue the work. No washing. They don't have time to examine themselves whether they are fit to enter at the end of the journey. Sister, have you heard? Brother, have you heard? Eternity must come. Whether we like it or not, rapture must take place. Whether I like it or not, death must take place. Take place. My mother and my father had, I was, well, yesterday, or oh, I think so, I was calculating when my mother died, going to 30 years, and I still don't see her coming. Is go she's gone, she's gone. Mini is our is, is that is, is, is our own time. I mean, it's our own turn to join them in eternity. But what we become, we are gone. Where are we going to end up? That is why I need to sit down. And not, uh, I need to sit down often to think about my eternity, my end, and know the next thing to do. The time we are is not the time to work anyhow. The time we are is not the time of busy body. The time we are is not the time of gray gray. It's a time of work, pause, work, pause. Connect to Martin, pause, think. Go to evangelism, pause, think. Do this, pause, think. And know what the next will be. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I take the last Bible verse and we go into prayer for the grace of God. The Bible told me, are you in the book of First Peter chapter 4? I read verse 7. First Peter chapter 4. I read verse 7. He said in verse 7. But the end, hear this word, Brother Samson. But the end of all things is what at hand. Be ye therefore sober. What does that mean? What does it, what is the meaning of sober? Sit down. Think, sister, but my son, yes, you are doing, you are, you are doing my, you are really trying. But see that there is error in your life that you, if you do not sit down to think, you will not see it to get to 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 cry to me for for help. Be ye therefore so bad. Think, think, my sister, think, my brother, your about your end and wash unto what? Unto prayer. You see what I told you? What I say? When you have, when you are a Christian, 
who often think about your end. He brought you to prayer. Listen to me. What is prayer? Time. What is the time of prayer? A time. The time of prayer is the time of 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 your reconciliation with God. A time of prayer is a time of purging. A time of prayer is a time of asking for sanctification. A time of prayer is a time of repairing the, the, the broken altar. A time, the time of prayer is a time to put this in order that was not in order. A time of prayer is a time to destroy the yoke of sin. A time of prayer it's a time to tell God, I rely on you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you don't think, you will not pray. Because, listen to this. The reason why you don't have time to think, you thought you are already there. And that is what a lot so many people hear now. That time you fail to examine yourself, you are telling God, if rapture just take now, take place now, I am the first person to fly. If I just break my last breath now, I will just, I will just fly and enter into your kingdom bah, and sit in my in my own and wear my crown. Yes. Because the Bible told us, Jesus said this by himself. He said it's only those that are sick that needs daughter. It's only though that is not perfect. Who feel that they are not perfect? They are not okay. They are the one that, that have time to think and say, God, in my traveling from Brazil to America for evangelism every day, am I even with you? Am I even okay? Are you sure I am not sick? In all that I am doing now, preaching, and people will be happy. Hey, my son, you, 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 you preach wonderfully. <laughs> am I sure at the end this will not send me to hell? Time of your thing. Listen, when you sit down, have time to sit down to think, it's a time to repair your life. It's a time of Preparing yourself for eternity is a time to tell God, help me. I don't want to walk, do this preaching, this evangelism. I don't want to do it and end up where you do not die for me. It's not a group thing. It's not a thing you do. It's not a collective thing. It's individual work. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe God has spoken to me. I want to believe he has also told you what to do. So therefore, I want us to pray. I say, God, I am sorry. Anyway, I have been, I have been proving myself okay before you. Have mercy on me. Anyway, I'll be thinking. All is well. I am already in heaven. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Open your mouth and talk to God. Father Lord Jesus. Amen. And the Father Lord Jesus, I give you the praise, the glory, the honor. My Father, my God, Lord Jesus, please have mercy that for me. Anyone been thinking that all this well with me, Father, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, Father, please have mercy on me. Help me, Lord Jesus, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, Father, have mercy on me. Jesus, please, Father, have have mercy on me, Jesus. Father, I am sorry, Father. And then we're bending the olives, but we'll need Father have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, Father, I am sorry, Lord Jesus. Please have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Father. Lord Jesus, Father, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, oh Lord, Father, have mercy on me, Lord Jesus, Father. Have mercy on me. Jesus, oh Lord, Father, Jesus, Father. Have mercy on 
In Jesus, oh Father, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, oh Father, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, oh Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord Jesus, oh Father, have mercy on me. Amen. Lastly, I want us to talk to God and say, Father. I want us to talk to God and say, Father, I have heard your word. Give me the wisdom to live this Christian life. Give me the grace I need now. That there will not be a day anymore I will not think about my eternity. In my driving, I want to be thinking about eternity. Listen to me, when you are doing this, sister, when you are driving, you are in the kitchen, you are thinking about your eternity, what are you doing? You are putting your life in order. You are telling God, repair me, repair me, do this. You are going to talk to God, Father, let the spirit of this self examination spirit father enter me i want to have the thought of my eternity of my end in me for by strength shall no man prevail help me O oh god open your mouth and talk to god if you understand in the name um, of jesus amen and the father lord jesus who love my father my god lord jesus father let the thought of eternity enter in the lord jesus father oh lord Jesus, in Jesus Christ mighty name we are pray amen are you out there? You have not given your life to Christ. Remember this as you have heard. One day you must go. But the question is, where will you end? So therefore, I want you to have a time to ask God for mercy. Tell God to have mercy on you. Tell God to forgive you your sin. Tell God you are sorry for all your mistake. Surrender yourself to him now. And after which, I want you to go for that, for baptism. And if you want the men of God on this mountain to assist you, to help you out in this area, in the area of baptism or you need counseling, please kindly call on them. And I tell you, the Lord will give them the grace to assist you to his own glory alone in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Father in heaven, I thank you. I give you praise, oh God, thank you for the life of this that have just given their life to you. I pray that you will pull them and strengthen them, empower them, oh God. Give them the grace, oh God, to remain you, to remain with you, or pull them with your mighty right hand of your righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, have mercy upon me if I have sinned against you, I have added or subtracted from your word. Help me and wash me in your blood in Jesus' name. Is there any that was angry, oh God? Father, I pray that you have mercy on him, have mercy on her. And I pray as many of us to God that we're just going, going without having a break to think about ourselves. Father, today as we are praying, answer us and give us the grace to always come to you helpless so that you will always help us to put our life in order in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because your mercy has prevailed over judgment for us, your children. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us give a clap of it to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and unto me. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen.
Mm. Lord, to you. Sorry for the time. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide, aka the Shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls ministry worldwide.